Welcome back, Doc Tools. I'm Tom. So, uh, welcome to the first episode of uh, I'll Show You Mine. So, um, this is going to be a, a series of relatively short videos where um, I bring out a, a tool that I have and uh, either take it apart or talk about it or show how it's put together uh, and we just have kind of a general discussion about it. So, um, what I thought we'd do for the first episode is uh, I have this little, and you guys have probably seen this before, this little four inch rotary table that I made uh, quite a while ago. Um, the viewer in Southern California that has a little uh, EDM shop has been interested in making one of these for himself. So um, I figured, uh, well I told him at some point that I would take it apart on camera. So I figured uh, this would be a good one to, to kick off this series of, uh, of videos, uh, I'll show you mine. So uh, let's go over to the, uh, the bench, get some tools out and uh, take this thing apart and see what's inside. Okay, so this is the, uh, the first installment of uh, uh, I'll show you mine. And uh, this is a little rotary table that I built, uh, I don't know, uh, quite a few years ago now. Um, Actually, you know what? I don't remember. I have to look at my notes what year I built that. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Um, anyway, it's a it's four inch diameter table. So it's a, you know, around a hundred millimeter diameter table. Um, and, oh, what's the ratio here? I think it does nine degrees per, per rotation. So let's see if that's right. Um, zero. Actually, let's line on something so I can look at it. And uh, I don't know, I may have mentioned this in a, in a previous video. Um, okay, about there, it looks good. Is This is uh, decimal degrees here. So this doesn't read degrees, minutes, and seconds. It reads decimal degrees, So, uh, which is a little different. But it's kind of handy, actually, because that's kind of what you're what your calculator puts out. Yeah, it's 90 degrees per rev. So um, a couple guys have asked about it, and uh, one guy in particular, and uh, his name escapes me right this second, um, he has a little EDM shop down in Southern California. Uh, he wants to make one for himself, and I told him that at some point I would take it apart on camera. So guess what, here we go. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna break this thing down. Um, and you know what? I, I kind of almost don't even remember. So uh, um, let's, you got to get the worm out. I know that. Um, and it kind of all comes out at the same time. So let's, let's start there. And this has got a little, a little bushing in it. I might need some uh, some additional tools here, so let's uh, get this collar off. And I got uh, these are uh, these short arm um, uh, L wrenches, which come in handy for this kind of stuff. Reaching in a little recess. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long to take this apart. I didn't really think about that. So this is a threaded collar here. Uh, it's a threaded one-piece locking collar so that you can, uh, once you get it where you want it, you can lock it down. And you see a bronze bushing there. All right, now what? Okay, that wants to rotate, so let's, uh, you know, I don't think I've had this apart since I built it. And that, I don't think I added too many features to make it easy to take apart either. Ah, there we go. So this is the the end of this end of the worm shaft, and it's just a bushing that has a uh, kind of a grub screw that keeps it in position. This also uh, uh, takes up um, axial plate. Uh, by adjusting that screw, it takes up axial play in the worm so that it doesn't want to doesn't want to uh, to move in this direction. So now, <laughs> I 
like I said, I I don't remember uh, quite how this comes apart. Oh, duh. I think you just you just take this out. You know what? I might have to go get the plans, boys. <laughs> I can't quite remember. It's got another bushing there. Huh. All right. No visible means of support. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. Uh, it took me about a half an hour to figure out how I put this dang thing together. So I got it apart off camera and then I put it back together so I can just kind of go through the whole sequence. I had to get my, uh, I had to get my notebook out that had my notes on, uh, uh, on some of this stuff. And uh, you know, I have to say that uh, my docu documentation was less than perfect here on this. So I built this in uh, 1997, uh, according to this, and it looks pretty close actually from what I'm seeing, but uh, there's just a couple little details uh, uh, missing, in particular with this knob here uh, that uh, didn't clue me in as to <laughs> how I put it together. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go through it real quick and, uh, and take it apart. And um, so, you know, we're back where uh, I started the video here, okay, all right. Now I didn't tighten up this uh, this lock collar here, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, we'll just take that off, like we did before. Yeah, I think I was uh, way too clever for my britches back then, so uh, it's like, how the hell did you do that? <laughs> All right, and then we're going to take this uh, this this. Uh, uh, bushing goes in and out to to limit the the axial play of the uh, of the worm gear or excuse me of the worm not the worm gear all right and we'll pluck this out of course it probably won't come out on camera this time hey, you little bastard all right it's moving this is a, a key thing. You got to get this dang thing out of here. Well, it came out before, and I can't take it apart uh, unless I get that out of there. Like I said, I uh, okay. should have put a little a little feature on that that I could hook the thing, but I didn't. Give me a break, man. Put it back in, take it out. Put it back in, take it out. Maybe I can get it like that now. All I need is just a little pull on that thing. It's not like it's pressed in there or anything. There it goes, okay. All right. <sighs> All right, and then there's another little bushing in here that has to come out. I'll just reach in there and get that. And this is just a spacer. There we go. Okay, a little spacer guy there. Okay, now we can actually take the uh, um, we can take the table off. And the way we do that is we actually just kind of deflect the shaft sideways to disengage the worm. And then that comes out. Okay, and we'll take a look at the inside here. So here's the worm gear, and there's the worm, and you can see there's a bronze bushing in the bottom there. And the main the main table bushing is uh, this is made out of Delrin here. And uh, I'll go ahead and just pop that up gently. And you get an idea. So this is a pretty good little press in there, okay, and it's just a hat shaped bushing there, and I don't know, it's about 60,000 sticks, something like that. 
Okay, so now we can kind of see the guts of this thing. This gear is pressed onto here, so this was heated, warmed up, and dropped on there. I don't remember what the interference was, but uh, so this is carefully bored in soft jaws, and then uh, these were all turned concentrically, and then that was slipped on there. And the height from this surface to here is real important uh, to making it work right. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the table out. We got the, the guts of this out, and this is where I got stalled before. Um, but like I said, I was a little bit too clever for my britches back then. All right, and you go through <laughs> you go through this little lock screw here. <laughs> like I said. You go through this little, yeah, somewhere in there it is. There it is. And then there's a set screw in there. Back that off. And then that comes off. And there it is, in there. And anyway, there's that. And there's the graduated ring. And then you can see how this little bushing's attached here, okay? And then this shaft comes out with all this business on it. And this uh, worm is pressed on this shaft. Looks like I cross-drilled it, but um, I opened it up and there was no cross-pin through it. So uh, um, I think it's pressed. I kind of remember pressing that on there and uh, having a, a long press there, uh, which seems kind of odd. But uh, anyway, there's the guts of the thing, and you can see it. And you know, there's, and there's another little bronze bushing there, okay? And if you take those out, um, this little plug comes out here, and um, you know, you could make that out of a different material for contrast or whatever you wanted there. And it's got some old stinky oil on it. It's, it smells old like a, uh, um, you know, like an old garage uh, full of funny oil. So, um, anyway, the housing's aluminum, um, anodized aluminum, clear anodized. These are, uh, these look like beryllium copper to me, a uh, nice hard uh, um, copper alloy. Uh, and I was using a fair amount of it back then. Uh, you know, they make injection molds out of it and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, the table, in my notes it says the table's aluminum, but this is stainless steel here. And I think I probably went looking for a piece of uh, aluminum and didn't have it so I uh, went with the stainless steel there so anyway there it is guys and uh, uh, that's the first episode of uh, I'll show you mine so uh, if you got any questions uh, throw them up in the comments and I uh, uh, hope you like that <laughs> I, uh, I got a little frustrated there for a minute you know I was like how the hell did he put this thing together so uh, Anyway, uh, it's been a long time, so that was 1997 I built that. Thanks for watching.